So in some of my previous videos, we went over battery, Easy Drummer 3, addictive drums, and creating multiple outputs for Logic Pro. Today we'll be taking a look at Triaz drum machine, and you can get a free version of this as well if you don't have it. There is a paid for version. I am using the free version today. Super cool plugin. I made another video on that you can check out as well if you're not familiar. But anyways, let's just check this out here. A few steps that we need to take, and let's get into it. All right, so first of all, we're in Logic here. We're gonna open up the Triaz player, and we have the stereo mode, or we have the multiple out mode. We wanna select the multiple out, in this case, the 16 stereo. Once we do that, we're gonna close that out for a second. We're gonna go to the mixer, and then this is the instrument here. It's instrument four. We're just gonna hit this little plus sign to give us all those little tracks, and then we have all the separate outputs. I am gonna select all of those, plus this here. I'm just hitting the shift and selecting it. We do a right click here and put create track. That way we have it in the arrange window as well. And now I'm gonna select all of those, instrument four plus all the auxiliary tracks that we created. Same thing, shift. And then I'm gonna hit command D or command shift D. Create a summing stack. Create. And now we have them all in a folder like this. We can label it that if we want or not. And then we'll go back into the plugin itself. Now this plugin makes it super simple to create multiple outputs. This one, we go up here, we hit this little wrench icon. And then we go down to mapping and routing and we just hit edit. And then we have this whole mapped out keyboard here. Okay, so by default, they're all routed to master and we can go and do everyone individually, but we could just click on this manage switch here and just go to route consecutive uh, outputs. And now we have them split up. You can see the kicks on three and four, uh, the next kicks on five and six, seven, eight, and so on and so forth. So when we go into Logic and play the beat here, You can see each one has its own output. And then we can, of course, do our extra effects and things like that. The one other cool thing about the Triaz drum machine here is we have the delay. We have the reverb A and B that is also routed out, which would be our effects, send effects here. So those are in separate channels within Logic as well. The master is bypassed basically because we're not going through the master effects on here. So very, very cool, quick and easy. And by the way, when you change patches, your mapping should stay the same. There we go, same mapping. So very cool, very simple way to do it with the Triaz player here. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Check out my other videos floating around the screen here if you're on YouTube, other platforms such as Twitter, X, whatever. Check the video description below. There'll be other stuff down there for you to check out. That is all for now. I will talk to you soon.